Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about something a little different. It's not going to be about anything health wise or any makeup tips. Today is going to be about systemic racism and how that affects us as social workers. Um, I'm actually in the middle of studying right now and I came across a question um, in our study group on Facebook actually that alarmed me um, and another social worker was very upset about it and of course it caused many other social workers whether they were black, white, Hispanic, everybody was upset. I'm going to share that question with you guys in this next clip and we're going to point out all the things that are definitely wrong with this question. I think that systemic racism is a topic that a lot of people don't want to discuss and they don't want to talk about how that has affected the black community in negative ways and how it has caused us to I would say not have the same opportunities as other counterparts have had. A Caucasian social worker probably has a different experience than a African American social worker in diff many different facets. The question that was presented was actually through study content from po Pocket Prep. And in my other videos, I've also talked about Pocket Prep. I've raved about them and said how great they are. And I think that it is a good resource because a lot of the questions that I saw in my exam did mem uh, mirror the questions that were on the Pocket Prep app. But I am sad to say that this is content that came from Pocket Prep. Um, and as a social worker, a licensed social worker, I have a problem, a huge problem with the way the question is worded. Um, it implies a lot of things that are not true to the black community. And I want to discuss that with you guys. And I want you to tell me what you think about the question. Um, I reached out to Pocket Prep and they were very apologetic. Um, well, honestly, let me go back some. When I first reached out to them, I... Uh, presented the question to them and it stated why the question was inappropriate um, and that it basically created a biased opinion of African American people, in particular women. Um, I think that there's also a lot left out as to why African American women may experience I guess a non-traditional non-nuclear family setting which is subjective and wrong um, as a married social worker with a child and my husband is heavily involved it just it really struck me and if I saw some content like that on my state exam in the exam room it probably would throw me off and that was my big issue with pocket prep I explained to them that I never saw content like that on the exam that I took. After they said to me that it is on the LMSW, I was like, this is not on the LMSW, and let me tell you why. Um, ethnicity and cultural background is very important when you're studying for the exam, and it is important to know your client's ethnicity when you're answering the question and to take that into account. Um, for example, uh, one thing I read back when I studied for my LM was something about uh, most elderly African-American men do not take therapy seriously and that is true but there has been progression since um, that statement within our community um, a lot of African Americans more so I would say Millennials and even some baby boomers and gener generation X most definitely are going to therapy so I believe that any question that has to do with African Americans you should let an African American social worker answer those questions, not a white social worker. White social workers do not speak for me and my experience in the field. And I'm getting upset as I'm filming this because I'm tired of other races trying to tell us as black people how we feel and how we should feel and how we should handle things. We are tired. We are very tired. This country was, we were built. We, not we were built, we built this country. It is very disrespectful to tell me how I feel when I have to hear things that my grandmother experienced and things that her grandmother told her that were passed down to her and so on and so forth. Um, I have been blessed to be able to go to school and finish two degrees and get obtain a licensure. I have been blessed to do those things and, create, and have a job and a stable income. But to say that unemployment and financial stress just happens to somebody who looks like me is not true. Um, I've worked for CPS where I've seen a lot of um, women from other ethnicities go through the same thing and I just think that questions like this are not should not be made by white males or white females. 
like you allow social workers to participate on your board. Um, these uh, the pocket prep. Uh, representative messaged me back and said that you know they created this fluff and this romanticized idea of how they're supporting the Black Lives Matter movement and how they're they um, they've uh, collected t over ten thousand dollars in scholarships or whatever blah 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 you're not answering my question did a black social worker come up with that question and if so how did you guys feel like this was an appropriate question to have on the exam on the practice test it makes no sense to me and as a social worker it really baffles me that there's just so much um i don't even know how to say it correctly there's just there's all these ideas and like just notions of what goes on in our community but you're not asking us Disrespect. Disrespect. And Pocket Prep, um, eventually they did apologize and they did say they were taking the content down because I didn't stop. I wasn't going to stop emailing them until I got an answer as long as I, um, as well as many other social workers who decided to chime in. It's horrible that people are creating questions about my community and not asking people who look like me. I, there's so many black women who are educated, doctors, lawyers social workers, psychologists, you could have had anybody sitting at the table that looked like me and would have told you this is not appropriate. Our country is in the middle of a pandemic, which causes a lot of sensitivity, anger, just a, a wealth of emotions. And then on top of that, we're going through handling or addressing systemic racism. And let me tell you, Pocket Prep, if you want to address systematic racism, if you want to create questions about systematic racism and how social workers should address those systematic racisms um, within our offices and in the community of social work, how about you ask a black social worker to sit down on the panel? Little Becky Sue or whoever is not going to tell you what I've experienced as a social worker and what we've seen in our offices. We deal with clients who look like us tenfold better than anybody else could because we understand what we have been through as a people. You cannot talk to us about the trauma that we have experienced and, or you can't even discuss the trauma we've experienced and then leave us out. It's disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. I appreciate Pocket Prep apologizing and coming forth and saying they were wrong and they're going to work on doing X, Y, and Z to make things better, but we do need to take this seriously guys systematic racism isn't going to go anywhere unless we all work together i know some people want to separate everything but we have to address it and we have to fight to get rid of questions like this and i can say that myself and i'm sure many other fellow social workers that emailed them were the reason why the question was removed we have to fight against stuff like that um, I'm going to be doing some more videos about theory, theorists and how a lot of them um, created these assessments that I feel like are against um, people of color and have this notion that people of color don't have cognitive delays or something like that. These things need to be changed and we have to work to get these things changed. We can do it guys. We can get exam questions changed. We can get practice questions change we I've saw I did it today so I want to empower anybody who knows that systematic racism is being addressed and it's being addressed by Caucasian people it needs to be addressed by African American people and how it should be handled because only we know how to handle it I really appreciate you guys watching my video today and thank you thank you thank you so much um, for all that you've done if you have any questions or concerns about what happened and pocket prep you can send me a message or leave a comment below in the video remember to follow me on Instagram Twitter and be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and share with your fellow social workers counselors psychologists because we all have to work together to create change thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day